Hey guys, it's Joni Sprague. I was going to give you a tutorial this week, but I was asked to show you what's inside my toolbox. So come check it out. I have an obsession with hammers. Love, love, love hammers. I've got many different kinds of hammers and they all serve a different purpose. This is kind of like a mini sledgehammer. It's really great for just destroying things and tearing things out. Love this one. I've got a 20 ounce hammer. It's more for like framing, driving at bigger nails. Then I've got a 13 ounce hammer that's more for like hanging pictures and doing stuff inside the house that's not so hardcore. My two most important tools when it comes to carpentry are my speed square and my pry bar. Uh, this helps me get perfect right angles, helps me mark lines. This helps me get out old baseboards and old trim and also helps tear things out. I love these two tools and I cannot live without them. The next most important tool in my toolbox is my tape measure. I literally have nine tape measures. Can you believe that? But they're all over my house, so I gotta have one in like every room. But the one I keep in my toolbox is this baby because I can stop it with my finger. It's my favorite one. The next tool that I think you definitely need in your toolbox are some knives. Um, these are retractable knives. You can change out the blades. This one was a hand-me-down, so it means a lot to me. And I've got about a dozen other ones all over my house and in my car. Uh, it's just really important to have. Okay, so these are some of the bits that I have in my toolbox. They're for different reasons, uh, wood, masonry, plastic, uh, but they're very important. So I got these in my box. This is my baby. This is my chalk line. I use it every single day. It's one of my favorite things ever. And my good friend Jim gave it to me. It's a hand-me-down. And I love this guy. It's so important to me. You gotta have a chalk line if you're a carpenter. This, my friends, is probably the most important tool you need in your box. It is an Allen wrench kit. If you've ever needed to install any sort of drapes or crazy cheap furniture, um, this is definitely something you'll be using on the regular. This is a level, and I'm sure you all know what this is. You use it to hang up pictures and so on, but you can get it in many different sizes. A great size for your toolbox would be something about this size, about a foot long. Um, you can get them in teeny tiny all the way up to five, six feet long. So they're great tools to have. This is my drill. I suggest everybody in America have a drill in their house wonderful tool. You can use it for pretty much any job around the house, whether it be installing cabinets or uh, putting something together, uh, repairing something made out of wood. You need to put screws in and out of something, drywall especially. Great tool to have. But the tool of all tools would have to be my impact driver. The bits just pop in and out. But this baby packs a lot of punch, way more torque, gets jobs done fast, and if you need a lot of oomph, this is your baby right here. Highly recommend. Last but not least, I'm going to recommend a putty knife and a paint key for your toolbox. I use these two things all the time, whether it's carpentry or not. I'm always painting something or patching drywall. Well, thanks for coming to see what was in my toolbox. Next week, come back for a really great Home Improvement 101 tutorial. And make sure to like Trading Spaces on Facebook so you can see all the new updates on the new season. See you later.